Hello everyone, uh, today I am going to show you how to control your evil link devices through your PC without needing any kind of applications like emulators or anything else. Just command prompt or your web browser, however you want. Uh, it's not evil link devices by the way, sorry, it's evil link is the platform that helps you control your devices like Sonoff or Sonoff, I don't know how you pronounce that. My device is Nolins. I didn't heard of that brand until I buy mine actually. <laughs> um, to do this, we will need to create an IFTTT account. Let's do that first. I have my account, but you can use Google or Facebook to log in directly or just sign in with an email. say already hmm. let's try this one Oops, sorry yes weird whatever from here we are going to my applets create a new applet and this click on this this <laughs> Here we search webhooks, connect, as we just go, and receive a web request. The idea behind this is uh, simply you're linking your IFTTT account to your Evelyn account and creating an event on IFTTT. Then, when you launch that event, it's sending comment to your device's specific channel to turn on or off whatever you said it I will just go with a simple name so this keyboard yeah you can see there are some examples if you have more than one light you can give a number or something you can remember but you can change it also later that's fine then that click on that it's fine they put those names there <laughs> Here we will search for Evelink and link our account. Connect. Just here's login with the information you provided in the app before. Evelink's app. And after it's done, it will show you. There's plug and switch. I don't know why they make it separate. My devices for channel. I'm using for plug and switch too actually, but I will just go with switch. I'm showing the light now, so let's go with that. This is the device name you set in the Evelink application on your phone or tablet. Uh, you can ch change it if you have more than one device, I believe. That's why they make an option. Third channel is the light in the room I'm in right now. Let's turn it on. Great action. <clears throat> Here there's receive notifications when this applet runs. This is for if you have the IFTTT application in your phone or tablet, it will send you push notifications. I will just turn this off. I don't have application installed right now, but I might install later. It's not a must. Keep this on, second one. And it's done. Now we're going to web hooks from here and documentation. <coughs> here, uh, enter the image name you created before, and this is your key. This is a fixed key, it will not change unless you edit your account. And you should edit your account from settings if you cannot connect. So let's go light on again. And do not give this key to anyone. If you give, they can control your devices remotely. Like I will do now. I'm in the same network with my device, but this is different as you can see we are sending 
a request to IFTTT and it's sending command to our device online. So this uh, also here, I want to show you this. As I say, you can control the command line with curve option. Let's copy this all. Um, before this, let's run directly through command prompt like on and yes now it's turned on the light and let's close this I will create another one to turn off so I can show you that also simply easily That here a link of device to the channel of create action. It's done, finish. Uh, as I say, your key is fixed. There you go. It will not change. You will just change the event name you set while creating your applet. So this will turn off. So turn on. Yeah. On. So from this you can create a batch file. And if you put this comment in and save that into bash file with curl option as I say and run that it will turn on the light but let's turn it off first and I can show you how to do it with your browser as I say just here paste it and go as you see, it's also showing here. It was showing here before. Light on, you use light off, you use, and it turned off my light already. And when I use this, it will open this window and turn on the light. Just a second, turn off. I don't like when I launch this, there's this pop up window. So I make this auto hotkey scripts to run that command in background, this curl. But I will show that in another video, I don't have time now. And I'm also using this with voice command, with voice attack here. It's same as, like, let's say you have Google Home device. You say, yeah, hey Google, do this, do that, turn on the light. It's same, but the voice attack in here. You don't need to call your assistant. It's listening anytime you want. You can search this app if you want. It's useful. I'm using it in yeah, in other things, games. Let's create turning off also, and you're done. Let's multiply this off. Edit. Just change this after you create and make sure it's same still if you don't change it. Here you can reach that key anytime. This, this. And if you can, if you right here, you can get this already prepared for you. This off. Save this. Now turn on the light. It will and turn off. Done. Both working as it should, as I said. I didn't use these options yet. I didn't try. Maybe in future I can check what's that. And if it's useful, I can make another video about it. That's it for now. See you in next video for Otahatki. I'll show you that from beginning 
including installing the auto hotkey. key. You can check if you want, it's not difficult, but you can wait for the video also. I will not take long. Uh, that's all, thank you for watching. If you like, if you want, uh, follow, subscribe and like the video. Comment down anything you want to know. If you have any questions, I will do my best to reply and fix if there's any problem. Until next time, see you.